family right now, it is time to go on the line. But in actuality, this brother is sitting across from me right now. He is a young man that Jazz Time Magazine said is a player to watch. I'm talking about a cat hailing out of Baltimore. Sax man Tim Green celebrating his latest compact disc, Songs from the Season. Tim, welcome to the Cool Jazz Countdown, bro. Thanks for having me, Bass. Appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. So this CD, let me say, I've been looking forward to it for a couple of years now because I know you and I have talked about you getting back out there to record. And it's 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 been somewhat of a, a long process, if you will, but we're going to talk about the CD in just a second. Okay, but great. For those out there in Radio Land that may not be familiar with Tim Green, let's let's go ahead and let them in on, on your mind and, and your magistry, if you will. You came up in Charm City, and you, you had the pleasure of going to uh, some pretty good schools over the years, uh, Baltimore School for the Arts. Yep. Uh, You also uh, went up to the Manhattan School of Music, then USC, University of Southern California. Who were some of the cats that um, looked out for you and and took you under their wing along the way? Well, I got to say, when I was in Baltimore, at the Baltimore School for the Arts, uh, you know, we go to a lot of different clubs in Baltimore. I was at uh, Sportsman's Lounge. Mm. And at that time, I came under the, you know, tutelage and was mentored by a great trumpet player from Baltimore, Dante Winslow. Oh, yeah. I was maybe 14, 15 years old, and he, um, you know, heard me at the Baltimore School for the Arts, and, you know, I picked up some of his records, and I just started learning his music, you know, just because uh, at the time I was just practicing a lot, and I happened to get a CD. And then uh, I think he came to do a master class, and, you know, he started playing some of his songs, and I actually knew some of his songs, so from then on, he uh, pretty much just started putting me on his gigs, and would just take me all around Baltimore, and um, I had a chance to play with Roy Hargrove with him, Cyrus Chestnut. Um, while I was in high school with Dante, I uh, introduced me to Gary Thomas as well. Um, so yeah, so it kind of started there in Baltimore. From there, I uh, went to um, a band camp or a jazz camp in Vail, Colorado. And um, that was hosted by John Clayton, a mm-hmm. uh, great bassist, arranger, yeah, um, Graham Bowen, all that stuff. Jeff Clayton, Terrell Stafford was there, Harlan mm-hmm. Riley, Bill Cunliffe. And um, I went there and I hooked up with them at the time. I was, I want to say 15. It's my first time touching it. Yeah, my first time taking a plane. And um, my, my parents sent me off to uh, to Vail, Colorado, to the Vail Jazz Fest. And they still have that to this day, actually. And um, I went there and um, had a chance to study with Jeff Clayton while I was there. And um, he took me under his wing early. So anyway, from that, that led to um, me hooking up with Justin DeChocchio. He's the uh, jazz director at Manhattan School of Music. And he gave me a full ride to go to um, Manhattan School of Music there. Awesome. So I was so, yeah, so that's where uh, it kind of led to. And while I was there, I um, started studying with Bob Mentzer. I started Bob Mentzer, Dick Oates, and Gary Dow, and Justin DeChocchio. I was in the New York scene. That's all. If you talk to my family or anybody you talk to that knows me, they always say when I was young, I used to just keep all these posters of downbeat covers on my wall. And I just, <laughs> you know. Fully engrossed. Yes, fully invert, you know, yeah. and, and, and kind of invested in that. And, just wanted to be in New York City, you know, and um, so I ended up going to New York on uh, to Manhattan School of Music on a full ride, and uh, the uh, then I went to the Muck Institute in 2005, I want to say, where I studied with Terrence Blanchard, and we had a chance to go on tour with Herbie Hancock and Wayne Shorter, and do a lot of gigs, and I played a lot in uh, New York while I was there. And you, I, mean, I mean, in L.A. while I was there. You was won the, uh, the the Monk International Jazz Saxophone. Yeah, competition. the Monk Jazz Saxophone. That that was really great. That was. Um, that was really a great award to win, um, and um, I came in, you know, second place for it. But it was really a great honor because it was, you know, another one of those competitions where you got, the best of the best. You got yeah. I mean, it was the yeah, the creme de creme of you know they chose myself, um, another good friend of mine, Kamon Fowler, and another uh, alto saxophonist, John Robagon, to you know compete on the main stage. I mean, we were being judged by Greg Osby. Uh, Wayne Shorter, wow. Davi Sanchez. I mean, it was just the... the uh, No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. no pressure. Right, pressure. right. <laughs> tell me about it. No pressure at all. You know, you just got Wayne Shorter. You, know, you can't even see him while you're, while you're there. So right. I would say after that competition, a lot of things started happening to me. That was the first thing that kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of took my, you know, helped boost my career along a little bit. And got a lot of press from that, Jazz Times and so forth. And started getting calls from Margaret Miller to do gigs with him. So I getting calls on Christian McBride and mm-hmm. 
you know, a lot of different things. So, so that kind of was the, you know, long, the long short of it was the whole story behind kind of where I'm in, I am right now. So, Family, if you're just joining us uh, in studio with me today is saxophonist Tim Green has a brand new CD out called Songs from This Season. Do you got time to stick around for a minute, Tim? Absolutely. More with Tim Green coming your way right here on The Cool Jazz Countdown. Family, we are going back on the line, actually in the studio today. So pleased to be hanging out with this cat. Truly, I call him a friend. He is a saxophonist doing work out of Baltimore, nationally known and respected. The one and only Tim Green. The CD is called Songs from This Season. Tim, thank you again for hanging out today. Thank you so much for having me, Bass. I appreciate it. So this is a a long-awaited piece, for me at least. I I know it definitely is for you, and I know it's it's a, a great feeling to finally see your next piece of work. Uh, get out there in stores as it just hit stores on uh, Tuesday. Yep. So the CD for me, Songs from the Season, yeah. I, I, I look at that that, that title and yeah. it's, it's a powerful statement. Yeah. Um, and what does it mean for you? Well, Songs from the Season means, you know, pretty much, you know, I believe that, you know, art reflects life and mm-hmm. different things like that. So I've wrote a lot of different songs over the past seven or eight years from being in school studying with this person or being in New York or being in L.A. or, you know, maybe writing a song on a plane or writing a song based on this story that I've read or based on some type of life experience. So when I uh, finally finished mixing and master, I just looked at the CD. I said, I want this, uh, this CD to really tell a story and what type of title can I name it for people just to get an idea of more of a personal look or just to be kind of engulfed in, you know, um, uh, 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 I guess a whole work of something besides just being, you know, th- introducing Tim Green or something. I want right, to right, right. be more of a story. Um, what what I love about the CD is that from listening to some of your your other pieces of works over the years, um, there's an element here that I don't believe was present on those pieces of work. Right. That is the element of the good time. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm really loving the yeah. way that you've infused oh, yeah. the guitar into your sound. Who's the guitarist you have on it? That's uh, Galad Hexelman, incredible guitarist. He's actually from Israel. He's from he's from Israel. He moved to uh, New York, I believe, maybe a few years ago. I met him through the drummer on the CD, Obed Cal there, mm-hmm. and um, we started playing together maybe two or three years ago. And um, you know, I love the sound of guitar and saxophone and. Love uh, Kurt Rosenwinkel, great guitarist who definitely have made an impact on all jazz music now. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, just decided to put that sound into uh, my music and um, it came out really well. Gilad is really tearing it up on the CD. He definitely is, man. Let's go ahead and talk about a couple of cuts on here. Now, when I mention the name, uh, you can talk about what inspired you to record the tune or name it that and what direction you went in. Uh, we'll start out with the tune, Dedication. I, I love the fact that you let the vibes out with your longtime friend Warren Wolf on here. What's the cut dedication all about? Dedication is to um, the great, dedicated to uh, the great Kenny Kirkland, great jazz pianist, and Margaret Vermilla. Two of my favorite uh, pianists and composers. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Kenny Kirkland's music, um, a song in particular called Deanda that he recorded with a band from Marsalis and some of his own records. And I'm um, listening and, and playing with Margaret Miller some and listening to his melodies and the way that he voiced chords. And I was at the piano one day and I found myself kind of taking that same approach, which I feel with both their music in different ways is that they would have, um, you know, a very simple melody in some of their music supported by, you know, some, you know, more modern, complex harmony. Okay. So I played, well, I played the song at the piano. I was just kind of working it out. And I said, wow, this is... It sounds similar to maybe some Kenny Kirkland movie or music or maybe some Margaret music. And at the time, I was listening to a lot of that music, and they're some of my, they were two of my favorite musicians. And I just decided to, you know, tip my hat to them on the CD just to, you know, let them know um, that, you know, this is uh, something that you guys inspired, and I'm inspired by, by your music. So. Well, it's one heck of a dedication, and if you're going to dedicate anything to a musician out there, I couldn't think of two finer uh, musicians to do so. Family, if you were just joining us, we are on the line today, in studio, in fact, with Baltimore's own saxophonist, uh, Tim Green. His latest compact disc is called Songs from the Season. Now, Tim, I I really got to be honest with you, bro. 
listening to tunes of yours from the past, when I listened to this one tune in particular, I was taken back a little bit. I said, wait a minute. Is Tim going sexy on oh. this thing or what? <laughs> And I'm, I'm talking about the track called Shy Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. sensual. I said, man, I said, <laughs> I said the only thing missing on this track is me. Yeah, I need to get the intro on that. Man. That'd be killing. <laughs> but, but tell us about this track, man. I, I, I know you got you got Orrin Evans laying down some, yeah. some real nasty chords on oh, yeah. Fender Roads, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful tune. Yeah, that was a tune inspired by my wife. We um ah. got yeah we got married um two and a half years ago mm-hmm. and um still fresh yeah still fresh I actually got a <laughs> got a son on the way now oh, congrats, but yeah i'll man. have a song for that probably within the next couple i was i was <laughs> gonna say wipe the similac from behind yeah i know ears, tell me about you it you gotta wipe it from his mouth that song is yeah. gonna be called no sleep okay. you know? <laughs> <laughs> but um but um but but yeah i mean you know just you know we got married and came off the honeymoon and you know, I just sat at the piano and I just started playing these chords. And Shot Town was a nickname that I used to call my wife. Me and a friend of, friend of mine, my, my boy Adam Burton, trumpet player, he uh, we went to school together. And he's like, man, you know, and that's that's your wife right there, you know. But she was she was in she was in uh, Chicago at the time. She lived in Chicago. Okay. And so we started, you know, referring to her as Shot Town. So you know, that kind of came back around. I said, I'm trying to find a song and title this song. It's about, you know. Uh, my wife, but I didn't want to call it, you know, make an acronym. I couldn't put it together, right, 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 you know, right, right. but I said, okay, this would be cool. Shy Town, it has a vibe on the name and yeah. kind of has a, you know, wintry Shy Town, you know, just kind of fit the vibe of the song. So that's kind of how that came it's, about. It's nice, yeah. man. I'm, Thanks, I'm really Rick. enjoying it. Thank you. Uh, then you switch things up and you just go straight ahead. Don't yeah. A Wayne Shorter piece yeah. in a trio yeah. setting. Yeah. yeah Pinocchio. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wanted to... Um, have a song on the record where I just would play, like mm. just a raw burnout, as they call it in jazz, like something where it wasn't a lot of thinking involved, just a right, song just, that I knew. Just straight ahead. That's just play and just like, you know, play like I'm in a club in New York or just, you know, hitting, as they say. Yeah. So that was the last song of the session um, with uh, Rodney Green and Chris. I said, okay, let's just, you know, let's just record this. Let's just go in the studio, Chris, no thinking, and just, you know, let's just play. And so it kind of came out that way, just, you know, just hitting, just, you know, brothers in the studio, just wanting to play and just, you know, have some fun and everything. So so that was kind of, and Wayne Shorter, probably my favorite jazz composer, the way he plays melodies and, you know, writes music. So um, also tip my hat to Wayne Shorter as well. So, yeah, that's kind of how it came about. Incredible comeback, this family, it's 13 cuts on here. The CD is called Songs From This Season. Saxophone is Tim Green. The CD is uh, out now. Yeah. How can folks get in contact with you, man? They can uh, go to my website, timgreenmusic.com, um, to get in contact with me. Yeah, There it is. Tim Green, thank you so much for stopping by the Cool Jazz Countdown, brother. And thank you, uh, we wish you nothing but the, the best with this I appreciate season. it. Thank you so much. Tim Green hanging out right here on the Cool Jazz Countdown.